Today we're going to learn third declension nouns with consonant stems. But before we do that, let's review our cases. Remember that the nominative case is used for the subject or a predicate nominative after an intransitive verb. The genitive is used for possession. The dative is used for the indirect object as well as special uses. The accusative is used for the direct object. Those three cases, the genitive, the dative, and the accusative can be used for the object of prepositions. You just have to know which to use with which preposition. And finally, the vocative is used in direct address. So let's look at third declension endings in general, and then we'll see how they butt up against different stems. So when we have the masculine and feminine endings, that nominative is going to be unique. The genitive ending, os, dative, e, accusative, a, vocative for our purposes will be irregular. Most of the time it will mirror the nominative, but sometimes it'll be a little off. Then in the plural for the masculine and feminine, ace, on, c, with a movable new, os, and ace. And now this dative plural c with the movable new, this is where the endings will vary from stem to stem because this sigma will butt up against other consonants and will either drop, change, or stay the same. Now the neuter follows a similar pattern. The nominative singular of the neuter is unique, the genitive ending os, the dative e, and the nominative repeats for the accusative and the vocative. When we go into the plural, the nominative plural ending for the neuter is a, genitive on, dative c with the new movable, and then we repeat the nominative for the accusative and the vocative again. And again, with the neuter, we're going to see that that dative plural ending, the sigma will butt up against consonants and change, drop, or remain the same depending on what the consonant is. So now let's look at all of our different permutations of this. The first are dental stems. So that would be delta, theta, and tau. And let's look at a masculine feminine noun for right now. So we have pice, pitos. To get our stem, we always go to the genitive, drop off the os. So we'll do daughter here for the feminine. So you'll see that the endings are exactly like we saw in the chart. The nominative is unique, os, e, a, irregular vocative here, and then the plural ace, on, c, with a new movable, os, and ace. So you'll see that with a dental stem, right, when one of those dental consonants meets the sigma in the data plural, the dental stem drops, and we just have sigma iota with the new movable. We see this again in the neuter for the word for name, onoma, onomatis. We go to the genitive, drop the os, add our endings, so our nominative singular is unique, genitive ending os, dative ending e, then repeat the nominative for the accusative and the vocative. Go to the plural, we see a, on, c, a, a, and then again, for that dative plural, when a dental consonant comes up against that sigma, the dental consonant will drop. So now we've got a few more permutations to look at. So let's look at velar stems, right? Velar stems are gamma, chi, and chi. And when they meet up against that dative plural sigma ending, the sigma changes to xi. Besides that, all of the endings are the same. Next, we have liquid stems, lambda and rho. And these will be the easiest because not only are the endings all the same, but you'll notice that nothing drops out in the data plural. You simply add the sigma iota right to your stem. So there's no dropping, no combining. Just add sigma iota to your stem in the data plural. Next labial stems, beta, pi, and phi. Again, all of the endings the same, but when we get to that dative plural, that sigma butts up against your labial consonant and becomes psi. Lastly, we have nasal stems, and those are the ones that end in a new. And here again, all of your endings exactly the same. When you get to the dative plural, you'll notice that the ending is sigma iota with that new movable. The new that is attached to the stem simply drops out for nasal stems. So again, when we're working with the third declension, make sure you memorize all of your endings, because most of them will be exactly the same, and just remember the different changes to the dative plural when that sigma butts up against different consonants.